Hi, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to grow a tree using an Alembic cache and show you all the tips and tricks that I figured out because this is very experimental software still. Um, Unreal says caution because it, it's not necessarily efficient, but there's a lot of potential uses for it. So anyways, it's worth showing. I've been playing with it. All right, so let's uh, go into Maya. I um, used a paint effects tree in Maya. You can do this with any, any geometry. In fact, I, I suspect it's it's probably easier with just more simplistic geometry. But um, let me just show you how I did this. So I'll hide the previous tree that I made and we'll go under the generate menu, get brush. We'll go in and get a tree. I used, a, keep it as much as possible, keep it simple. So the tree leafy, the tree simple, literally. Holding down the B key changes the size of the brush. Stroke that out, got a, um, yep, got the tree there. Uh, control A to switch to attribute editor and then go to the flow animations. Now we want to turn this into a, oops, looks like we've got some other leaves there from a previous one. All right, so we've got that. Let's turn on time clip and then make the flow speed something so that you see the whole tree by the end of the sequence that you're you're creating. Um, in addition, I like to pre-roll a little bit or have the start time so that I see some of the tree. Um, maybe that's too much, minus 0.5. There we go, that's not too bad. So that you see some of the tree as you're um, running the animation. So now the next step is converting this to polygons. So we want to select the spline and then choose paint effects to polygons. This convert menu is under uh, modify convert. Anyways, I just had this out there for convenience. So convert that and you can up the poly count. Um, another, a trick that I noticed is that it seems to um, as long as you select one face on this whole thing and add a material to it, then it knows that the uh, material IDs are all there. Otherwise, it just comes with one uh, material ID, which is not what you want because you want to be able to do presumably at least two materials, one for the leaves and one for the, the tree trunk. All right, so having said that, um, you can select this group export selection from Olympic. One thing when you do your own to be careful about, especially when you're doing something like a tree, if you're doing just a mesh that where the poly count never changes, or if you've done something, you can do Olympic caching with skeletal meshes. That's even more efficient, but this is the experimental um, mesh um, thing. So if you look up here, you just watch like the poly count changes drastically. And I think I was getting crashes or not imports, and it may be because I was trying to import the leaves and the leaves only show up after a certain a certain number. So it looks like it could be right around here. Anyways, uh, we can try that maybe around 16. So we're gonna export selection to Alembic, and I've got uh, frame 16, I'm going to pre-roll it, and I'm also, you need to have UV right, <clears throat> UV face sets turned on. So I'll do this, uh, tree anim 9, and then it just kicks out all the, all the frames. Okay, so let's go back to Unreal, import this. So you want to roll down and choose geometry cache. And um, you can read on in the docs on this. You, you, you can get slightly smoother animation if you possibly, is what I was reading, that if you choose these different options up here with the sampling type. Anyways, I'm just going to keep it to default. So let's import this. And if it, we'll see if it imports correctly. We should have the, uh, yeah, looks like it. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Looks like we've got the, um, let me make that a little larger. 
and also let's apply some textures. So now one thing that you'd want to do is also in the materials, so I'm going to drop some materials on this thing. So go some wood here. Looks like that material slot is for the the branches. Let's just see if that's correct. Nope. Not yet. There we go. So is that one. All right. Uh, one additional pointer, if you are wondering, if you're like, try this and then you're like, huh, where are half of my leaves? Well, it's because the leaves are coming in as planes. So you need to turn on, you go to the material that you're using and turn on two-sided because some of the leaves will be facing away from the camera. And then because the normal, uh, the first surface normal, it won't show up. So you want to do that. Um, all right, let's see. Any final bonus things? Well, what if you want to make it interactive like I did for this one? Like right now, this is on looping and it just will just keep going. But if you want to like have it trigger or something, like in this case, I have it bound to the L key and then it grows. So how do you do that? Well, you select the object. You can turn off uh, running, turn off looping, and then just go under uh, the, in this case, I'm just going to do it in the level blueprint. So I just bound it to a key. Um, I right clicked select the tree NM and then just draw out and type play. And then you just see the play geometry cache component. So I'll just have both of them bound to the L key. So here we are, hit the L key and there they both go. Awesome. Love it. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Oh, one final thing is uh, in the upload notes for 4.21 in Unreal, just a heads up, they made some fixes to the Olympic cache, so you might want to upgrade if you haven't. All right, thanks again.